Hi everyone, it's Jody from An Eye for Beauty, and today is Thursday, October 20th, 2022. Today is the last day, or tomorrow's the last day of Libra season, and then we're heading into Scorpio season. So I wanted to come on today, I just want to share an experience that I just recently went through and learned from. And I wanted to share it with you because it could help you as well. I know that we are all going through a lot right now. A lot of people are having to deal with a lot of different feelings and emotions that are rising up. And that's happening because we are breaking down any patterns that really have not been working for us all these years. And we're being really invited or kind of like nudged forward into clearing it. And if you are mindful of it, if you are aware of it, then you're going through that experience right now. And it's very uncomfortable, no matter what it is that you are going through. And in a lot of cases, you thought that you worked through it. And yet, there was more that had to be rehashed or reevaluated for you to really work on further. So for me, I um, it, four years ago, I broke my ankle. And in doing that, it really, what happens when you have a break in the physical body, what happens is it really breaks up stagnant energy. And it could be stagnant energy that you came into this world with from another life, if you believe in that or karma from another life, or it could just be something that you created in this lifetime unconsciously, and it was time to break it. And so for me, what really came up, many things came up, but one of the things that came up was being shackled down because your ankle is where, if you were wearing a shackle, that's where it would be. And being shackled down to maybe life, lifestyle, the way in which you conduct yourself in life. And for me, I was very much a giver and always, I still am, but uh, with different boundaries, but very much a giver and always giving, especially in my family here. And I always took on all of their emotions, especially. And so I learned a lot from that experience and then we had the pandemic. So I was able to really like rest and recharge. So for me, there was definitely obviously problems through that pandemic period, but it was also a lot of just being able to like really give myself permission to just be and not have to do anything. And that continued to help me work through the healing process because it's not just about healing your physical body. It's about healing the other aspects, whether it's mental stuff, whether it's emotional stuff, and of course, spiritual stuff. You had the, I had the opportunity to heal it. So it's about healing it all. Well, this past week, I took on in the family, everybody's emotions and trying to help them and help them through it and work through it. And But what I ended up feeling was I felt like I was literally taking loads of stuff and it, it was getting heavier and heavier and heavier and it was weighing me down. So if you ever feel your body feeling heavy and it doesn't have anything to do with the weight, but it has to do with this heavy feeling, that's where it comes from. It comes from that invisible energy that you take on of other people. And in my case, it was in my immediate family, but you could be taking on, if you're in a workplace, you could be taking on their stuff or whatever the case is. So for me, I was taking it on, but I wasn't, I was realizing it, but I wasn't really realizing it. And then lo and behold, I had had it. And what I kept saying was, you guys are sucking the life out of me. And I must have said it three or four times. And then on Monday, I literally felt like my energy was sucked out of me. My reservoir of energy, which resides in your sacral chakra, which is the point below your belly button, was empty. And so I developed a terrible migraine for days. And that was my cue to rest. Through that process, though, my physical body and my mental, emotional, spiritual bodies who were working together wanted to they were fighting because the physical body wanted to get up and do, and the other three knew that that was not going to serve me. So here I thought I had set boundaries. I had learned so much in 2018, and yet here it comes and it's creeping up again. 
And I'm telling you this story for a few reasons. Reason number one is if you're going through something right now that seems really heavy and really dark and you thought you worked through it, but you have more instances or experiences that you're going through and it's creeping up again, it's happening because there is more for you to clear. There is more for you to work through. There is more for you to heal and clean up and it's okay. Give yourself permission to do that for yourself. I always say that it is selfless to take care of you first. It is not selfish. I was taking care of everybody else and of course I was forgetting me and look at what happened to me in the end and I was out. I couldn't do anything. And if I worried about me first and put everybody else in line but put myself first, that probably wouldn't have happened. So remember, it is selfless to take care of you before you take care of anybody else. Remember what they do on the airplane. You put the oxygen mask on yourself first and then you take care of the children and everybody else around you. But if you can't take care of you, how are you gonna take care of anybody else? Second lesson, I said how many times you are sucking the life out of me. Words are more powerful now than they ever have been in my 48 years or maybe manifesting has become stronger in the universe but watch your words because your words speak into reality so if you find yourself being negatively talking you find yourself complaining cancel clear delete cancel clear delete and unfortunately for me someone who does this on a daily was so wrapped up in what I was dealing with that I forgot to cancel, clear, delete. And I said it three or four times, only three or four times. And I literally had the, the energy sucked out of me. Watch your words. If words come out of your mouth, cancel them immediately because you do not want to create what your words are saying. Instead, journal. And that is what I ended up doing once the headache developed. And I knew at that point that my words were really coming to fruition is I went and I journaled. And if you don't know, there is Hano, Hano po, I don't even know how to say it. It's the Hawaiian prayer. And uh, it's, I love you. Thank you. Please forgive me. And I'm sorry. And keep saying it until you feel it inside of yourself. And that's what I did. I said that because I created this at the end of the day for myself. I didn't put up clearer boundaries for myself for the situation. So make clear boundaries. Watch your words. And just remember that when you have to go through healing, it is not easy. It is uncomfortable. But at the other side, for me, it's today. It is so much worth it because I feel clearer and I feel lighter. So allow yourself, give yourself permission, the opportunity to go through the process because you probably, if you're, you're resonating with this, it's because you need to go through some sort of a healing. And then finally, and always, if you are having a hard time doing this on your own, I'm here to support you. I do angel card readings, I do Reiki, and both of those things are simple guidance, and anyone that is watching this can attest in the comments to know that any of those practices can really help you to clear the stagnant energy that you can tangibly touch, but is there, and it helps to clear and get everything flowing again. And if you're not interested in doing that, my suggestion to you is go on YouTube and look up 528 megahertz music and just lay down and listen to it for 10, 15, 20 minutes, a half hour, because that music is also a healing frequency and it helps to clear away some stagnancy inside the body. So I hope that in telling you this story, which I typically don't do is talk about myself, but in telling you this story, it helps you and makes you feel like if you're going through something, it's okay. All is well. You're going to get through it, but you have to give yourself the opportunity to do so. I hope that this message served you guys today and I wish you a great day. Bye-bye.